In this tutorial, I'm going to be going through with you how to make a very simple additive synthesizer. I've started off by creating a few sub patches that I'm going to take you through and creating the function object that will make the amplitude. It's all stuff that we've done in other tutorials, so I've thrown it together quickly so we can get on to making the synth. If we have a look at this sub patch note in, it's just the MIDI note in object and the keyboard and the MIDI number. It's all stuff we've looked at before, so we're just adding different numbers to the original number to create some more, just some texture to the synth that we're going to be making. Um, each one of these has got the MIDI to frequency object, so we are going to have five different oscillators in this synth. So we've got the five different MIDI to frequencies all going to the five outputs. Now, if we have a look at this oscillator cycle patch, this is just to tidy up what we've done before. So your MIDI number or your MIDI to frequency number will go into cycle here, create the frequency, go to the amplitude and then go to the output down here. This input here is from your ADSR function and this oscillator phaser is just the same but with the phaser wave rather than the cycle. So let's look at how we're going to connect all this together. So obviously we'll start with our note in, start at the very top. And I've said before a minute ago that we've got five different oscillators in this synth. So let's take our two oscillator sub patches and just create five of them. So just copy and paste. You can have whatever combinations you want to be honest. So I'm going to have three cycles and two phases. So let's just uh, let's just get that out of the way so we can line them up a bit neatly. So now we need to think of this in terms of routing. As I said a minute, a minute ago, each one of these outputs is going to go to an oscillator. Five oscillators, five outputs. So one, two, three, four, five. Each of these oscillators I'm going to make have its own individual independent function so it can have its own separate amplitude. So this is where this section comes in and we'll just copy this function box and the line box we want five times but the set range and the bang we only need once because it's going to be the same for each object so we just want to make sure that the set range is connected to all five function boxes and we also want to make sure the bang is connected to all five function boxes I know it looks a bit messy but if you just hold down command Y it will tidy up your patch cables so you can do that by just selecting as many as you want if you hold shift down it will select lots and do that again there we go it looks a bit more tidy now right so we've got that sorted now we just need these amplitudes to signal and trigger these oscillators so we just connect as before the first output of the line into our oscillator patch like so and then we can come out of each oscillator into the output object okay so there's one more thing we need to do just to make sure this patch works and like before um, I mentioned this in another tutorial this this bang needs to trigger each time a note is played so all I'm going to do is go into our note in patch and take the same number as I did before to trigger it but this time we're going to use the send object as we've looked at before and these send and receive objects work through sub patches as well as just from each side of the patcher window so we'll send it from the note in and we'll come out here and Now you should see, as I play the keyboard, that still triggers. Right, so now let's see if this works. 
let's first of all draw some envelopes in. I mean, you can experiment with this as much as you want and add extra oscillators and everything. But yeah, let's... I mean, mine doesn't sound brilliant, but at least you get the gist. Um, one more thing I'm just going to show you is another message that the function boxes can receive, and that's simply clear. And all it does is, if you're really not happy with your sound, all you have to do is click clear, and you can just start all over again. So experiment with it, experiment with different oscillators and even more oscillators, and see what you can come up with. You can even try incorporating the preset object that we've been through before as well, so you can save some of your sounds that you like. Yeah.